It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Mr. Godwin is in the uh, performance room, and uh, they've got the lighting just right. Oh, yeah. And uh, it does. It, it's, it just <laughs> looks so to. nice. And uh, Pat does look like he's got a new mustache, but it's the same thing. But looks great due to some shaving stuff. Um, it's very pronounced now. That's Tinder worthy. That the way you look now. Oh, I think women would. Uh, <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I, oh, I yeah. Do, I've got the phrase for just hello, ladies. You put That's you, all you need with that. Yes, you've got that facial hair, but you put on that that blue shirt you've oh, got. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that is a Tinder oh, uh, profile. And take your glasses off and put the one of the temples in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm I'm seeing you uh, uh, putting on one of those weird Austrian outfits and gra grabbing an accordion. You going, mean the lederhosen? Yeah, the lederhosen. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Uh, doesn't he? Have, does, does he look like he should be having a like a big stein of beer playing polkas? Ooh, uh, beer. Uh, uh, don't what do could that. Possibly go wrong there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sorry, Pat. If you want, if the lighting's good, I got portrait mode on my phone. I can come in there during the break. Do new headshots? Yeah, we can get some new Tinder pics for well, you. Maybe pal. it's time yeah. to return to, to Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> oh, no. no one's dating right now. <laughs> Address the note, Pat. So a horny. <laughs> or well, you could get to know a lady via, you know, Zoom calls or whatever, yeah, FaceTime or yeah, whatever. And <laughs> do you remember Pat, when? Do you remember you when? Do something. Do you, you remember when just... uh, uh, FaceTime meant something completely different? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I meant being <laughs> with the person. I'm going to have a little yeah. time no, with it, my it boss. So, it meant something in the in the uh, interpersonal face, realm. It, it did? No, it didn't. Yes, no, it didn't. Yes, it yes, never meant he, anything sexual. He Here. read some <laughs> Walt Whitman poem oh, yeah. where he said FaceTime or Allen's Here. Ginsburg Here's said, Pat Godwin and his new polka song. <laughs> 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 Is that the laughing poke? Where'd you find that? that is. It sounds like Pat laughing. I can't tell the difference. This guy's crazy. Oh, Can you imagine That's going hilarious. into the recording studio? This is what we're recording? Really? Oh, okay. it's great. In small doses, that's great. Like the barking dogs. Too, yeah, though. just it, it's got a it, it just just a, it's just a little bit. Yeah, it, it's it's like the frosting on a cake. Just, just the right amount bit. is important. Just a little bit. Uh, okay, um, where were we now? Um, uh, well, we were talking with Chick McGee across the way. He's Chad. at the sports desk. Anything of uh, note in sports today? Well, we had the weird facts about ranch dressing. Number one, that's right, ranch dressing invented by an American cowboy in 1949. A plumber turned cowboy. Mm. While working as a contract plumber in Alaska, Steve Hansen started cooking for his co-workers and perfecting his buttermilk dressing recipe. Ah. Evidently, buttermilk big in, in Alaska. Uh, the average consumer, Christy, yeah. uh, they have salad dressing 38 times, a uh, ranch 38 times a year. That's not me. How much longer are we going to have to read about ranch dressing? You don't like ranch dressing? Yeah, I, I don't think I need to hear the history of ranch dressing. I want to hear it. Um, there's, a, <laughs> there's a pizzeria in Dallas that charges $1,000 for a side of ranch. What? what? It must be very, very good. There was this pizzeria in Boulder called Cosmo's Pizza, and they served this spicy ranch, and you dip your pizza in it, and it was the best thing ever. And I discovered it when I was drunk one time at a party. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> Changed my life. So you've gone? Have you gone back to it sober to make sure it's okay? Oh well, no, it's great. Often yeah. the then, things one one discovers while drunk. And the only way own? I'm paying a thousand dollars for ranch dressing is if it comes out of Kate Upton's nipple. <laughs> 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 well, that would be something. Oh, be, wow. What a restaurant that would be. Miss Upton, how'd you get this on tap? Oh, my gosh. There is a ranch-flavored soda called Lester's Fixin' Soda. How about Ugh. that? They also have a bacon soda and a peanut butter and jelly soda. Ugh. Peanut butter and jelly sounds okay. Yeah, that's the closest thing to a, a decent soda. I mean, you know what I mean? It sounds like it could be a soda flavor. Have you had a peanut butter and jelly cocktail? Real good. No. Real really? yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, with peanut butter whiskey? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What do they put? What do they do for the jelly? Shambourman? Smuckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, smuckers. It's a very thick shot. <laughs> <laughs> very, very thick. <sighs> you know, so I, I sound like the polka. <laughs> Check. We yeah. all enjoyed the ranch dressing. Thank you. History. Yes, I'm, I'm nervous now. I know, I know that sigh told okay. me that you. Well, no, I, I just couldn't tell if you were done or not because it's one of those things I could tell you're reading it off your computer, waiting for the next page to load. The baseball and there are Hall these of pregnant Fame. Pauses. I'm on to sports now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I need to hear more about ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa McCarthy and Courtney Cox both chugged a bottle of it online. No kidding. Yeah, there's evidently man, oh, video man. proof. The whole bottle. 
for some promotional thing? Was it a charity? Or? I, I, I must have been, yeah. Uh, let's I have see. A, are you done? I'm sorry. Nope. What, do you, what have you got, uh, Christy? I have an ass bag letter. <laughs> an oh. ass bag? Really? <laughs> uh, I see. That's what they call you guys, dear ass bag brigade. Oh, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I like who's that. The general, who's the, the general? Aspect, the, that, that, that we get a title now? Yeah, the ass bag brigade. Do we get brigade. uniforms is, and ranks? We sound like the Can I be the colonel? This is from Alex. Bastard. I'm just proud to be a member of the AB. <laughs> <laughs> Alex says, please tell Christy that there are others out there that, like her, prefer their salad sans salad dressing. Many of us actually enjoy the taste of vegetables and can eat them with a sense of maturity and dignity. Well, I don't know. See, to see right there, right there, you got the problem. I got. You know what I maturity. say to him? Let's what let's let's, let's him. check the computer. Um, as maturity. To, nope. Dignity. Uh, nope. We're done. Okay. As opposed to drowning them in a deluge of ranch because you need to trick yourself into eating your veggies like a five-year-old. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's exactly all correct. That's, that's, yeah. And here's the best line of the letter. Christy, as always, stands alone on the show as a beacon of grace and adulthood. Oh. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. I wonder why she your... read that. Yeah. He wants in your pants. <laughs> the Ass Bag Brigade. Brigade. I read that down. Uh, and Ace is also the proprietor of uh, something we call, ladies and gentlemen, the Ace Cosby joke of the day. That's right. Once again, the op-ed page of contemporary culture with our engineer, Ace Cosby. Well, for some reason, yesterday we were talking about finding dead bodies. Finding yeah. dead bodies, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what it's like to find a skeleton in your freezer? No. no. It's bone chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice Ace even kind of shivered when he said it? <laughs> he acted it out. Yeah. yeah. Sort of he sold the hell out of it. Much, uh, pretty much by definition, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah. really Thank you very much, Ace. That was very helpful for us to see doing, him. Josh? How about you? What are you doing, Josh? Josh is uh, teabagging. <laughs> Josh, why'd you do that? Josh. <laughs> trying to There's focus. cameras on. Oh, that's Dude. nice. Josh is Yo, licking, Josh oh, is licking a teabag. He's giving uh, the people what they want. Well, is, that a, least, is that a wet teabag? Oh, it's very wet. When you teabag, you like them wet? Do you? Yeah. And you guys are getting mad at Christy. She's the only one of us doing her job. At Thank least you, you uh, didn't give him anything to meme with. <laughs> Have fun, Ronald. Have at it, McDuffin. Because we had a story out of Disney World about the um, the new uh, glazed donut cheese sandwich. Yes, it's called the Ever Glazed Donuts in Disney Springs. They have made a grilled cheese between two glazed donuts. It's mm. available once again at Disney Springs, which is the shopping district just outside the Orlando Resort. Um, yeah. Oodles Sounds and oodles of gooey cheese between two glazed donuts. Do they, do they have a low-calorie option where the donut's cut in half? <laughs> <laughs> For those wanting a donut grilled cheese. That <laughs> Only half the calories. Yes. <laughs> don't need the Here we carbs. go. This comes to us from Eldon. Hey, Eldon. I like a, a scoop of ice cream in the middle of my oatmeal. How about that? That's well, you know what? That sounds great. That Vanilla? Does, that does sound great. Yes. You know what I did at camp? At summer camp sometimes, I'd get coffee and I'd put ice cream in the coffee. It's cream and sugar and ice oh, all at once. Oh, yeah. How about that? Wow. Wow. These all sound very good. Eldon, nicely done. Uh, let's see. Now, the the trick we had this morning, once again, involving the end of your bag of chips. Do you want to explain that, Josh? Oh, yes, yeah. A, a listener wrote in, and it's something I have done, where when you have the, the shards of chips at the bottom of the bag, you pour them in a bowl, and then you throw in some salsa, and you eat it almost like a soup or a, a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Are you warming it up? or? No, no, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Hot, hot salsa? Uh, cold tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. Either way. Hot a, salsa sounds like an album it does, title. It does. Uh, it's a very fat thing to do. Herbie Hancock and hot salsa. Hot salsa. Which you're not wasting anything. Uh, dear Bob and Tom. And I, by the way, the word shards is shards? Al it's almost always used with regarding chunks glass. of glass and something bad. But shards of Doritos is yeah. a happy way of to say shards. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we go. This comes to us from Ken. Hi, Ken. He writes, um, <clears throat> Dear Idiots. Oh, hi. Oh, Arrange some nacho cheese Doritos on a plate. All put right. slices of pepper jack cheese on them. Microwave for 45 seconds. You're welcome. Hmm. I'm uh, writing. I'm writing. Duh, like we haven't done that. 45 seconds. This, That's a little much. Aren't they going to be on fire? And you're doing slices? Everyone knows shredded cheese. Yeah, yeah. Can, you get, can you get shredded pepper jack? Well, you can uh, shred anything. Oh, my gosh. I don't think so. You'd have to shred your own pepper. Joshua, you could be onto something here, pal. Right. Oh, we should make, we should invent. <laughs> Shredded pepper. Does oh, anybody know on. anyone at Sar Sargento? Pepper. Everybody shut up. <laughs> everybody, don't give him any more I've hits. never seen him more excited. He wasn't that excited when the Blues won the cup. I... <laughs> Sargento CEO, Sargento Carter. <laughs> Here we go. 
Uh, Robert writes, Bobby. make sloppy joes Yum. separately a grilled cheese. Fill the uh, grilled cheese with the sloppy joe. Game changer. Don't knock it till you've tried it. No, I would never knock that. That sounds incredible. <laughs> How does he have so much time to write us letters when he's busy working at the CIA being a genius? <laughs> In fact, I'm going fatter. Why wouldn't I'm, you... Uh, I'm making two grilled cheeses, and those are the Sloppy Joe bun. Oh, there well, you so go. why wouldn't yeah, you yeah, just yeah. put cheese on your Sloppy Joe? Shut up. <laughs> we have because the... you wouldn't <laughs> have the bread. It's a sandwich, Christy. Well, you put the... Se I'm writing these all down for uh, Willie and I's new video, uh, <laughs> weekly video show, Learn How to Eat. Okay. Oh, my God. Christy, and at uh, White Castle, they have a Sloppy Joe, and you can put a slice of cheese on there, and I'm a big fan. Oh, I'm a big do? fan. Son of a gun. I, I love yeah. Once my again, if, if you have some unusual approaches to... Do uh, you ever have a sloppy joe, Tom? Just that another night. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Nothing like you a man which you don't oh, seem you know, like a sloppy Joe guy to me. Oh, yeah. You make him in that long-range cooler gizmo thing. <laughs> what? We don't, no, we don't eat sloppy long range, Joes. Wait a minute. Long-range cooler? Or long... What's that called? The, you mean a slow cooker? That thing, yeah. The bowl long with the plug. Long-range cooler? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right that down the bowl with the plug. It doesn't cool anything. <laughs> it doesn't. So you... Long-range cooker. I, I fear your crockpot is broken. <laughs> crockpot. That's what it's called. <laughs> the other day... So you call a crockpot a long-range cooler? And then a bowl with a plug. I couldn't think of it technically. Josh, no, you see the other day. He was I trying can't to stand it. Oh my god! He was trying to tell me that someone got him an air fryer. It took him ten minutes to get there. He could not. Uh, you know, it's one of those fry things with wind and yeah. air well, cooling. This is the man who yesterday wind. called lizards snakes with legs. <laughs> oh god. Allie, it's great to see you, and I, I understand on the various uh, Bob and Tom social media platforms, there are some provocative pictures of you. Is that correct? Uh, yes, there are some caution tape photos. I yeah, think I saw those. Mm -hmm. Wearing yeah. nothing but caution tape. <laughs> Wearing nothing but caution which was meant to be like a red flag dating thing. And then one of my friends said that it could be interpreted that crimes have happened on my body, which was not the intention. <laughs> Everyone takes everything so seriously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Um, now, uh, did, did you have a friend help you take those pictures? Yeah, I made my sister help me take those pictures. <laughs> That's right. Because it, it had yep. to be hard wrapping yourself in... In tape, I would think would be pretty yeah, tricky. I did the wrapping myself. Yeah. That part I did myself. Right. There's pictures I couldn't do. Okay, well, they're now where are they posted, Chick? Uh, on her boobs and cooch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Bob, oh, you mean the picture. Where social media. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you meant the tape. <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, stuff like that. Sorry. Yeah, because Josh, you'd, Bob and Tom I mean, the pictures would be very nice if she just put them around her head as a headband. <laughs> <laughs> then she'd be naked, you see. Just a blindfold. Just a, oh, what are we saying? Now, see, if you were just wearing, if it was you naked, just wearing a blindfold that was crime scene tape, I can see the, the interpretation that your friend yes. had. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not the picture, is it? No, let's, Josh said it was. Let's speculate. No, we didn't. Just to just now. <laughs> Blatant hostility. Uh, I'm sorry, Allie. Uh, I know that you've been doing your homework, and um, you, yes. you have some things for us. Um, I do. What is it that you have? You... Dear Allie, my boyfriend is insanely jealous and gets mad when I don't text him back immediately, uh. even if it's just for like 10 minutes. Then he demands that I send him a picture of where I am and what I'm doing. Get out now. Down. Yeah, no he's joke. A, he's crazy. Sounds like a responsible Everything else young about man him is to me. Great. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. What's that? She said what? Everything else is great? Everything else about him is great. But, uh, so she doesn't want to break up with him. How does she get him to stop this crazy what behavior? What if, if she's driving? What, she's going to drive off the road texting him back? Oof. I don't think you're yeah, going to get him to crazy. change. Well, I, here's the thing. Sometimes people change, but it has to have effort. <laughs> and if they're not trying to change, this guy's going to be like this forever. So. Yeah. I object to your premise. I don't think people change. No. Uh, well. They have to want to change. They have to really want. No, no. And they don't. You don't change. Well, I believe God. that. <laughs> Therefore, oh, you don't think anybody can change. You can change if you want to, but this no. guy is I've crazy. asked you for how many decades? Don't you want to be better? And you don't. <laughs> you don't. You're embracing your insanity. That's because it's so much easier. Uh. Why is it easier to just be insane? And well, you are so you know lucky you have anybody in your life. <laughs> she, kids, I, I, I would disagree if I could. And mm -hmm. a child that talks to you, let alone now, works with you. Well, to be fair, I only talk to him at work. <laughs> when he's, uh, he's just another guy. Nice so. angle on that. Uh, Allie, I, um, I mean, I think it's completely unreal. So what's she's expected to wherever she is 
Uh, take, take a, a photo. picture of herself. If she'll come. Yeah. Well, here of I am her? at my desk again for the. Oh my gosh. Had to be a picture of her in today's paper. Yeah. <laughs> proof, proof of all. Yeah, I mean, this like is unacceptable. Photo. Just unacceptable. Maybe, yeah. she should do some, uh, maybe she should do something humorous. Um, cut out a picture of herself and tape it to a milk carton in the, you know, have you seen me lately and take that picture and send it to the guy. Also, Maybe he'll realize what a jerk he's being. I, I think, don't feel like he has a sense of humor at all. I think Josh will back yeah. up on this. Somebody, a guy who uh, has this quality is most likely cheating himself. There's, yeah, there could, there's, there could be a fair why, amount of projection going that's on why here. He's, he's, yeah. he's, watching a, he's watching a movie? Uh, that's right. He's got a projector. Once again, our yeah. qualifications for this show are we've taken Psychology 1, which I bluffed my way through. I know my... Oh, I got a straight A in that class. No. That was easy. I even took that in college. <laughs> that's because you're around more people that are nuts. True. <laughs> well, I, I had a friend who dated a guy that was like this, that always wanted to send pictures, and she would do photo shoots with her friends to mm -hmm. be prepared. So she'd have pictures of, you know, her with her friends in all different scenarios. So she'd have pictures ready to go. And what a shame. That, yeah, that's just as bad. What a shame. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which yeah. one's worse? I do admire her creativity, though. That guy was crazy, but that's a kind of a fun <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did, did he ever write back, hard to explain the palm tree when you're supposed to be in upstate New York? <laughs> she probably took a bunch yeah, of background exactly. settings. <laughs> this guy needs to trust you a lot more, and he's not. Um, I what did people do before cell phones who were like this? I don't know. Followed them, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Uh, good old-fashioned detective movies. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, what else we got, Allie? Dear Allie, two weeks ago, my ex-wife of three years called and asked me if I'd be interested in having a threesome with her and her new boyfriend. Uh, wow. She wanted to know if I would be comfortable doing stuff with another man in front of her. In our 20-year relationship and 14-year marriage, never once did I allude to being gay or bisexual. I assumed she knew that. I was blown away by the offer and declined any involvement, but how do I get this out of my head? Wait, I'm sorry. She said, I assume well, he knew that. Is this guy gay or bisexual? It doesn't mean that he's gay or bisexual if she wants him in a three-way with another guy. Well, no, she said, I want you and the guy to hook up in front of me. Oh, I thought yeah. she said that she wanted to hook up in front of him mm -hmm. with the guy. I say, um, send her something. Send her something with a strap and, and I, a goodbye note. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you have to do anything, sir. I, I, um, you, you declined. Yeah, she just say no, thank you. Yeah, and uh, to get it out of your head, unless you're still interested. Yeah, and no, I think you should call your divorce lawyer and thank him. <laughs> and if it was me who got that call, if it was two out of the three ex wives, I'd have to say, how did you get this number? Uh -huh. And then, good point. <laughs> I totally agree. We'll figure that out, and then, oh. huh. yeah, that's a crazy fantasy. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little odd. I see. Uh, by the way, if you want to get a hold of Allie... You have uh, a fantasy, it, Tom? Oh, well, um, if he does, he's not going to tell us. Oh, let's hear it, Tom. I want to hear Can I this. leave? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to hear this. Uh, uh, you were, really? You were conceived of this fantasy. Go ahead. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N is the point I was trying to make. Allie Breen of all social media platforms. Allie, uh, back to you. What else have you got? Dear Allie, should I be worried if I meet a girl and she's on literally all of the online apps? No. Online dating apps or just like Facebook and Tumblr and stuff too? No, online dating apps, yeah. No. What are the, uh, what are the stats mean, of people who are on like a Twitter and Instagram and they just have accounts, they don't really post anything, they just like reading? A lot. Yeah, yeah, I would think no, that was pretty, sure, would be pretty high, right? I think, like I've read somewhere, most of Twitter is... The people that are writing are like two percent. Oh, okay. really? Everybody else is very, just loud. very, very small number right. post a lot. Jeez. Uh, but uh, yeah. Hmm. So I'm sorry. The problem is this person's on all the dating sites. All of the online dating well, apps, so which it just, depends, I guess, on what they mean by all. Just, I mean, they're, they're just looking, unless they're yeah. conflicting dating sites. Well, um, you know, she's on. Uh, J date and she's on whatever the Catholic version is. Christian and, Mingle or something. Yeah. Yeah. If she's on every. I don't know. I think Farmers Only. In, she's if, got them all covered. If you're in a relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that would be. Yeah. No, yeah. no. But he but, just met her. He said. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Just oh, yeah. Different. She, what are you gonna do? What? Yeah, yeah I think it's just well, a convers conversation you have going. Hey, uh, when we're ready, let's both delete our apps that we have, and then that's that, right? I think yeah. the concern is, does it look more desperate if someone's on all of the dating apps as opposed to just one? No, like because... Someone's on just Bumble or if they're on They're everything. all on them. They're, everybody's on all of them. Right, they're all different. The same and, guys, usually. And you, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, and we're not desperate. I mean... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, give her a break, man. Yeah, she's, she's just not covering her bases. Wrong. I don't blame yeah. her. Now, Pat, have you been on one lately? No, 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 no. You were on one for a while there, weren't uh, you? About a week. Tinder, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. You, yeah, you met someone I got off, or you just? Uh... Well, I got yeah, you got off all right. <laughs> I met somebody. Yeah, <laughs> just in the third swipe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend is a gym rat and constantly wants me to work out with him. I never want to, and now he's also getting crazy about my diet. Uh-oh. I really don't care if he has a six pack. Do guys really care that much about girls being in shape? I'm not fat. I'm just not going for the 2022 Olympics. Uh, yeah. Some guys do. Right. Especially it's if they're into looking like some that. Crazy they, guy. Yeah. yeah. They want their girl to look. Remember that guy we knew and made his wife weigh in? Yeah. Oh, my what? God. Yep. Yeah. Wow. True story. <sighs> <laughs> Did he do it like the real boxing weigh-ins? No, and, and, and he, told, he, he, he told us like we were going to go, oh, hey, man, that's smart. And we all went, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> unbelievable. But I like, I like your notion that... Every time he'd do it, it would be like they were on TV. <laughs> <laughs> There's a commentator. Oh, with the drum roll. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. they, they get, get into a little fight <laughs> before they... Uh, they have to go face to face. Okay. <laughs> Allie, if they want to reach you, once again, how do they do it? Uh, it's Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere of the social media platforms. And um, you can put detail in footnotes. How about that? Yeah. Yep. So and yes, answer please, that girl exactly. real quick. Don't let him change you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Don't go yeah, change don't you. And the girl is right. You. Let guys know. I think she's right. Girls don't really care if guys have six packs. I don't care. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.